Hey everybody, Robsmith Prime here, and I'm back with another rock band trivia video. Today we'll be doing ACDC, one of my all-time favorite rock bands. I actually don't have an ACDC t-shirt, but I do have some awesome ACDC pajama pants. So I'll be rocking these bad boys today. So before we get into the trivia, I'm going to go over all the rules, and after that, we'll get into it. We have four contestants who will be answering questions about ACDC. They will all be presented with the same five questions, which will increase in difficulty as we go along. Each contestant will be awarded points for each correct answer, and the points will correlate with the question numbers. This means that question number one is worth one point, question number two is worth two points, and so on. At the end, we'll see who emerges with the best ACDC knowledge. Before we begin, I'll introduce the contestants. The contestants are Macy, Mackenzie, Nick, and Sarah. Just like last time, I have another group here of four awesome people who are great friends of mine, and I really appreciate them all taking the time to do this video with me. Now, let's go ahead and get into the trivia. Question number one, worth one point. What is the nationality of ACDC? Are they British? <laughs> Not oh, wait, it. they're Australian, aren't they? Are they Australian? Australian, yes. British? American, I don't know. You want to take Is another guess? European? Australian? Australian. British. Wait, do I get multiple guesses? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... Australian. All right, so the correct answer to question number one is Australian, and here we have the current standings. So Nick nailed that question immediately. No hints or guesses, wrong guesses required, so he gets the full point. Macy and Sarah had one wrong guess before getting to the right answer, so they'll get most credit, 0.75 points for each of them. And then Mackenzie had to have three wrong guesses, but she did still eventually get to the correct answer of Australian. So she still gets some credit, 0.25 points for her. Awesome so far. Let's see how these standings continue to change as we go through the next four questions. Question number two. Can you name four ACDC songs? This question will be worth two points total, but half a point will be awarded per song. <laughs> I literally like, um... Highway to Hell, is that ACDC? I'm gonna move on. I don't think I know any, any other one. We're struck. Back in Black. Oh, I don't know anything after that. Um, yeah, I have no clue. Oh, wait. Oh, they sing Highway to Hell, don't they? Oh, and they sing, it's like, I think they sing it. Shook me all night long. Highway to Hell. You got Back in Black. But those are the only two I can think of off the top of my head. Oh. Those are the only two I can think of right now. I can't, I can't even think of anything else by them. Like, when I think ACDC, those are the two songs I think. Mm. Um. <laughs> uh. Gosh, I don't know any ACDC. I know there's some really famous ones that I definitely know, but I just don't know their ACDC. Um, is there something with the word black in it? Yes. Back in black. Mm. Winner take all, or is that sticks? I'm blanking. Uh, let me think, let me think. Yeah, I think I only have one for you. 
So this is a fun question. I really enjoy it because it lets everybody name whatever songs pop into their head. So we got to see some awesome song names brought up by our contestants. Both Macy and Sarah were able to name one song. Macy named Highway to Hell, and Sarah named Back in Black. So they'll each receive half a point. Nick was able to name two songs, Highway to Hell and Back in Black. So he'll receive a full point for this question, half a point per song. And then Mackenzie, she was able to name four songs, Highway to Hell, Back in Black, Thunderstruck, and You Shook Me All Night Long. Very impressive from her. She was able to get the full two points for this question, which will shoot her from number four, last place, all the way up to first place, number one. So moving forward, she's in first place, followed closely by Nick in second, and then Macy and Sarah tied for third. Awesome stuff so far, a lot of change, but we still have three questions to go. Question number three. What is the name of the epic comeback album that ACDC released in 1980? This question will be worth three points. Are they the ones that did like um, When Hell Freezes Over or whatever? Literally have no idea. That was my best guess. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, it's not the album with the thunderbolt on it, is it? So this album cover right here is likely the one that Mackenzie is referring to. This album is called High Voltage. It was the first internationally released album from ACDC. It was released in 1976 and as I'm sure many of you have seen before, this is a very iconic image, and obviously you have the huge Thunderbolt. Now, in ACDC's logo, you can see that in most album covers, they use the Thunderbolt instead of a slash in their name, ACDC. You can see it, uh, each of the four corners here as well in their logo. So technically, pretty much all of their album covers have a Thunderbolt in them, but this is the album that has the big Thunderbolt as a part of the image as well outside of the logo. No idea. Literally no idea. But wait, it's black. Isn't the album cover black? Is it back to black, or is it, or is it like back back in black? Because that's a song. That's like a. I think it's back in black. Nineteen eighty. Yep. I'm trying to think. Was that the black album? Wasn't that one of theirs? You're you're close. You're really close. Ba is it Back in Black? Is that the name of the album? Mm. It's the name of the... Uh... Is there a name of the album Back in Black? All right, so the answer to question number three is Back in Black. Here I have an image of the awesome album cover of Back in Black. As you can see, just like Mackenzie mentioned, it is an all-black album cover with just the ACDC logo and the title Back in Black. Very cool looking, in my opinion. Now, let's see how the standings look after question number three. So, here are the standings. Macy was unable to get the right answer, so she'll receive zero points and remain at 1.25 points. Both Mackenzie and Nick were able to get the right answer, but both had to get a wrong answer first. So they'll get 2.25 points, or three quarters credit out of three. And just as a side note, Nick mentioned the Black album. That is actually a Metallica album. The album is called Metallica, but it's commonly referred to as the Black album. That was released in 1991, and that is a different album. Now with Sarah... She nailed it. She got the right answer. She'll get three out of three points, and she's now tied up with Nick. Moving up, she moves above, uh, splits the tie from before with Macy, and now she's tied up with Nick. All right, it's getting uh, getting interesting. Let's see how this continues. Two more questions. Question number four. Who are the two most famous frontmen slash lead singers of ACDC? This question will be worth four total points, and two points will be awarded per singer. Now. This may seem somewhat like uh, a subjective kind of question, right, with fame, but 
in my opinion, there are two very clear answers to this question. While there have been more than just two frontmen for ACDC over the years, these two are by far the most well-known and clear-cut, most famous guys. I really have absolutely no clue. No idea. Absolutely no clue. I could not tell you. <laughs> I, have, I don't even, like, have a guess. <coughs> um... No, it is. Why did I want to say Steven Tyler? I know it is not him. I don't remember what band he's from. What is he from? I don't know, but it's not ACDC. I have no guess. I'm trying to think if it's, um, is one of them the current one? Yes. Is it Axel Rose? No. Uh, Axel, Axel, Axel Rose is Guns N' Roses. Well, didn't he leave Guns N' Roses to be the main He did temporarily. Of- he did. I could probably oh, give you like a bonus point for that. That is true. Axel Rose, uh, the second of the two lead singers I'm looking for, had like a brief like time where he had to go away for hearing issues. And Axel Rose filled in for him on like a tour in 2016. Okay. So Axel Rose actually has been a lead singer of ACDC. He's not one of the okay. two main ones I was looking for, but I could probably give you a bonus point for okay. mentioning that. I appreciate that. You got Axel Rose. Oh. Not, is it Angus something? So Angus Young, pictured here, is actually a member of ACDC. However, he is the lead guitarist, not the frontman of the band. He is a co-founder, so definitely a very important member of ACDC, but not the answer I'm looking for here. Shoot. Uh. Uh. Shoot, I'm trying to think. Was one of them Paul something? So there is no member of ACDC named Paul, but Nick may be thinking of Paul Stanley, pictured here, who is the frontman of the legendary rock band Kiss. And I'll tell you, I love Kiss, so I may do a rock trivia video for uh, for Kiss sometime in the future. It was one of them, mm, this might be wrong, Brian Johnson or something like this? I'm not going to get the guy before him. I don't know it. I have no clue. I would tell you like Mick Jagger or something, but I know that's not right. <laughs> All right. So the two answers to question number four are Bon Scott, pictured here on the left, and Brian Johnson, pictured here on the right. Now, let's see what the standings look like. So Nick is the only one who is able to score any points on this question. He was able to get Brian Johnson, but he had to have three guesses before getting to that. Now, all three are technically incorrect. However, his first guess was actually Axl Rose, who actually was the frontman of ACDC at one point. In 2016, he was uh, a brief fill-in for Brian Johnson. So I will give him one bonus point for getting Axl Rose. Because Axel Rose has been the frontman slash lead singer of ACDC before. Wasn't the answer I was looking for, but he has been the lead singer for ACDC. So Nick will get a bonus point for Axel Rose, and he'll get one point for Brian Johnson. Only one point out of two, because he had to have the two other wrong guesses of Angus Young and then Paul. So one point for Brian Johnson, one point for Axel Rose. Two more points, bumps him up above McKenzie, and Nick is now in first place. But we have one question left. Can Nick defend his position, or will Mackenzie uh, try and take it away? Or he's still got Sarah and Macy in the mix, so everything is still up in the air. Let's see. Big question left, five points, so it's all up for grabs. Who's going to take it? Question number five, the final question. In 1990, ACDC released an album called The Razor's Edge. What is the name of the most famous song from this album? 
This question will be worth five points. Before everyone gave their answers, I let all four of them know that this is a very famous song. Even if this album isn't as well known, this song itself is one of ACDC's most famous songs. And again, to address the subjectivity of fame, this song is by far the most famous song from this album. I don't think anyone would dispute that. I know. I want to like get it since you said I should know it. Is it like the razor's edge? Is it like named the same thing? The most, I really don't know if I know any other songs by them. I sound like I'm so uncultured. I know other bands, but not ACDC. I think I already named, is it Thunderstruck? <laughs> like how famous are we talking? Like really famous. Like it's it's up there. Like, I mean, like if you go on Spotify, it's gonna be like one of their like top five songs. Is it Highway to Hell? No. <laughs> no, it's not Highway to Hell. That was, uh, that was definitely way earlier. That was 70s. I was going to say, that was earlier on. Yeah. Um, is there any hint I can get? Oh, is it Thunderstruck? I any more songs. Uh... I don't know. I really don't know any songs. I can't think of any right now. Hurricane. No, Rocky like a hurricane. That's scorpions. Um, lightning. Very, very similar. You're getting warmer. Thunder. Very, very close. I think Quiet. I know exactly what song you're talking about, but I don't know the name of it. Thunderstruck. Yes. Yes. All right. The correct answer here is Thunderstruck. And here's an image of the album cover of The Razor's Edge. Now, let's take a look at the final standings. All right, here are the final standings. I gave Macy one bonus point for getting The Razor's Edge. That is a song on the album, not the song I was looking for, but still a song on the album, so gave her a bonus point for that. She'll finish in fourth place with 2.25 points. And number, th uh, number three, you got Sarah. I gave Sarah half a point. She did get Thunderstruck, but she had to have a load of hints and wrong guesses to get there, and in that included me telling her that the name of the song included the word thunder, and it was all one word. This is insanely significant uh, hint, but still give her a little credit. She still had to know the name, Thunderstruck. So gave her half a point for this question. She'll finish at 4.75 points, finishing, finishing in third place. And, wow, big switch here. Mackenzie overtakes Nick to finish first. Nick will finish second. I gave Nick two points. Um, he was able to get the name Thunderstruck, but he had to have uh, a wrong a wrong guess, and he had to have some hints. Biggest hint, not quite as big as Sarah's, but he had to be told that the name revolved around a storm. Not nearly, not, not as big as Sarah's hint, but still a big hint. He'll get two points for this question because he's he did he did more to be able to get Thunderstruck, but still had to have the hints and the wrong guess. Mackenzie, she nailed it. No wrong guesses or hints necessary. She nails it, secures all five points, and Mackenzie will take the take the win. 9.5 points for her. First spot. Nick, great competition, especially between between all of it, all four, but great competition here between Mackenzie and Nick. But Nick will finish just below Mackenzie at second place with 8.25 points. So 
Our champion of the ACDC Rock Trivia video is Mackenzie. Congratulations to you, Mackenzie, and thank you to all four of you. Thank you, Mackenzie, Nick, Sarah, and Macy for participating. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And of course, as always, thank you to my viewers. I hope you enjoy this video. This was a lot of fun. And of course, Merry Christmas. See you guys next time.